waiting for my kid to get out of soccer and I thought, you know what, why don't I show people how to stop debugging their JavaScript and testing their JavaScript like a caveman um, and use the VS Code test runner. It's over here, it's this little beaker. You've maybe never clicked this button before, uh, but the first thing you're going to have to do is you're gonna have to drop all the other things that you use and use the built-in node test library. Node test, node assert, they're beautiful. And then the second thing you gotta do is install the node test runner. And now this will integrate um, node test into VS Code. Uh, so check this out. I've got this stupid little function over here, the Fibonacci thing. And I've got these little uh, buttons over here in the gutter. And I can also click this beaker and you can see that I've got this main test and then it lists all of my tests right there. If this isn't showing up for you after you install the extension, um, just reload window and then it'll, it should pop up in here. And then this is cool, you can, uh, there's a bunch of ways to run a test, so I can come in here and I can click this button, whoop, ran that test, I get some console output down here, and look, I got a checkbox there now. Um, I can also just click this button to run this test, and so they're all good, and I can also, up here, I can run all the tests inside of this describe block, so blop, so I got all my tests. So what happens when um, we do something wrong? Let's like add plus one in here. Um, let's let's do this. Let's uh, return in plus one. So we got a little bug, and then I can run my tests. Oh no! Look at that. Here, let me shrink it a little bit. Four tests failed. Boink boink boink. Actually, all of them failed. Okay, so what is going on here? Um, so I can open this up and it tells me, hey, we expected zero, but we got one. We said fib zero should have given us zero, but it gave us one. Um, gives a little diff right there. And then this is cool. I can run this again with a debugger. So I'm going to drop a breakpoint right here in this test. And then I can step into this call to fib. So I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to step into calling fib. So now I'm in my fib function and I can look around. Let's make this bigger again. Look, we can see n is zero. So someone passed in zero. So we can see, okay, well, where am I going to go? I step again. Okay, so we end up in this block. So you don't have to drop a bunch of hilarious console logs all over the place. Um, you got to see whatever uh, that whatever's going on. So you get all your local variables and everything right here. Um, you can even add a watch expression, so you can say, hey, I want to watch whatever N is. And so N is always going to show up over here. Maybe this is really crowded. Um, maybe you're looking at a global module and there's tons of them and you don't want to scroll through all that. You can put it as a watch expression here. Um, this gives us our uh, call stack down there. Uh, just great stuff. And so I can step through this thing. And I can see, okay, so I had N, and then, oh, I did a plus one right there. That is my mistake. Um, actually, this is pretty interesting. Let's let's do one of these that fails worse than that, because we call it a few times. Like, let's do this one. Let's run this test, open this up, and step through it with the debugger. Oops. Um, I'm going to dump a breakpoint in there. Let's do it again. All right, let's step into our... Oops, sorry. I want the breakpoint up here where I'm actually calling fib. So here we go. All right, so now we're stopped right there. Let's step into fib. And then I can um, step through all this. And now I'm back out. Uh, but I could have also, what I actually wanted to show was stepping through it multiple times. So. Let's go into fib, boink, boink, and then we call fib again, boink, boink. And see this watch expression over here? They're highlighting as it changes. And so we can see we're getting seven and six on each one of these as n goes down. But anyway, we can see that this is our problem, so we save our file. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to our test, and we can see it. Man, this is one of my favorite parts. It's all red here, so we know which which one we were just working with. Um, so now I'm going to get rid of my breakpoint and I can just click this button to run the test again, but I can also do keyboard shortcuts. So there's command colon C to run the current test. Boink, 
And so now that one is green. And I bet that these ones are all gonna turn green too. So I can click these, now that one's green. I can also say command colon F for file. And then that runs all the tests in this file. So now everything is green. I'm not running anything in my terminal. I don't have any watchers. I don't have anything going on. I'm literally just running my code for the tests that I want to run. It's really cool. Such a nice way to develop. Um, it's not just for JavaScript. Uh, you can open up the set, uh, VS Code settings, come into node testing extensions, and we say JavaScript files. You just do your thing. TypeScript files, we're going to use the TSX import loader. So this allows us, um, like you could say like node some file.js, but if it's TypeScript, you can say import TSX, and then it'll um, transpile it on the fly. Compile it, I hate the word transpile. I still say it on accident, who cares? Um, yeah, and so I just have that in my package JSON here installed. And so this setting tells Node.js testing, hey, if you come across a TS file, pass these arguments in when you compile that thing. So now uh, I can do the very same thing over here in um, these tests. Oh, well, I'm not using the Fibonacci thing in here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but you can see I can click this, runs my test, click this, runs my test, all the same thing. We change this to like six, run the test, and now it's like, oh no, everything's wrong. And I can go in there and I can start it with a debugger or whatever I want to do, or I can realize that it's just a dumb test and I goofed it up. Use my keyboard shortcuts. Everything's green. Pop this open and I can see how am I doing over here? All right, I've got uh, let's run all the tests for uh, main JS. Whoop. Let's run all the tests for types and let's get some failing over here uh, just to kind of see how this all looks and let's get this one. Um, let's come over to here and say that one's zero and run that. And now, like, this is pretty cool. Over here, I can see, like, okay, that test is failing and that one's failing. So you can, like, come back, work on your code, and then uh, rerun everything, whoosh, run all my tests. Oh, those are all still busted. So go fix something in your implementation, wherever it was, run all your tests, whoop. And then you can see, sweet, everything's green.